Hi. Oh, it's just gone probably 2.30. Update. We had a heavy rain shower earlier on. Um, had a bit of a break. Had a bit of lunch. So I made a bulkhead. Um, and glued that in. Well, epoxied it in. Or resin. Um, I put some epoxy resin in the join in the bow I've just dropped a little bit in there what I've got left over and the transom's done I've actually shortened it um, the transom I made it really high but I made it like that because I thought well I can shorten it if I need to so I measured my outboard um, to see what the leg length was so I just shortened that a little bit but I probably will step the gunnels up slightly after it leaves the transom um, I've cut those to angle, those two pieces. Um, I want the transom on a 6 degree, sloping back 6 degrees, which is about ideal for the uh, outboard. So I've just, um, with a saw, just uh, angled those to fit the angle on the bottom of the boat, on the bottom of the hull. Um, glued them, screwed them. I'm just done those now, so they're still wet, so I'm going to have a, a cup of coffee. While I wait for that, um, I've run out of paint brushes. Every time I do a mix, I use a paintbrush. You can't buy acetone here, um, and the alcohol and thinners and everything. I tried it; doesn't work. Um, so yeah, everything's looking cool. I was hoping to get the uh, transom in tonight, fastened up. Um, then I'm going to put some ribs. I've got a floor height here, um, just three quarters of an inch higher than the uh, edge of the uh, hull where the um, reverse chine is going to go. Um, so I've marked that out, I've put those up because I'm going to put a, um, a plywood floor in. Um, it's going to have a complete plywood plywood floor completely sealed I'm going to completely seal it and probably fill the underneath with um, I don't want to use expanding foam because if you ever have to repair it it's a pain um, probably will use some type of closed cell foam I'll cut it to fit in between but I'm going to put some webs now I've done this um, bulkhead here um, and that's where the the hull starts to rise just after there just after eight foot it's starting to rise up to the point of the bow so this ends pretty square so the transom's going to go in then I'm going to put some longitudinal um, braces in that'll probably fit alongside those actually and those two braces I've made to uh, there just to support the transom really give me a bit of something to hold it square while it uh, while the epoxy goes off um, yeah I'm going to run some four or six longitudinal uh, gussets down the length and then that will help to support the floor um, I made a mistake cutting this out. Um, I ended up I cut the end off here. Um, that way you can see it. Yeah, I cut the end off. It's supposed to be left like that, but I've got the piece anyway, so I can soon glue that back on again when I uh, put, when I put the reverse join on. I can fasten that to it. But yeah, wow, it's warm today. I'm absolutely dripping with sweat, dripping off my nose everywhere. So. Um, I'm going to wait for the glue to go off now on the transom, or the epoxy to go off on the transom. Um, I've got to wait for my good lady to come back. She's gone do a bit of shopping, so she's going to bring me some paintbrushes back. So um, that will give that chance to uh, to go off. Yeah, looking good. Very pleased. Um, I'll keep looking at where to cut the bow. Um, I have drawn a line round there. 
I put there. Um, and that will actually work straight. Oh, the boss is home, so uh, I'll have to go and let her in. So, bye for now.